hey, to the drivers and to all Pioneer Coach office people, I have just populated a calendar on Google Docs in Google Calendar, which is classified as co-driver availability calendar. And I've shared this with everyone on Pioneer Coach and all the drivers and all the office people. What this calendar will do is to be populated by drivers full-time and part-time of your availabilities between tours or when you're just available as a co-driver. Like anything, it's only as good as you populate it, it's only as good as it's looked after by human beings. So that means if you take a job or you're going to do something else, you need to actively go onto the calendar and change your availability dates and move them around. The calendar looks like this, zoom in. So what you would do is you would go to a date where you think you're available. You would click on the calendar, it would pop up, and then down here, I would drop down menu, shows me my different calendars that I have. You might have more, you might have less, doesn't really matter. Highlight the co-driver availability calendar, put in your name, and I'm saying Neville is available, and I'm right now I've just said May 4th I'm available and I create the calendar. Now if I'm available, say I'm on a tour and then I know I'm available, we're back in on the 3rd, I'm available to do co-drives till you know we leave out Monday, so I'll say Sunday. And then I go save, and now it's populated, it says Neville, and I'm able to see that I'm available from Wednesday through till Sunday. Now let's say Cam, gives me a co-drive and then I say okay well I'll help out with this co-drive I'll do it I don't know when it when it is I was looking for one of these say I say this one down here okay I'll be available for Eli Young so I'm now I'm gonna do that I know Eli Young is three days Eli Young starts on the 6th so I click that populate I know I gotta be back on Monday so I'll say the 8th so now my only availability is like pretty much there so I'm doing Eli Young Band and if I go to the next week I should be able to see where I'm available Neville's available right here so you can move it around as you continue to be available and unavailable on the dates that whatever it is that you're coming back on so if I chose and accepted something now I'm not available till Sunday but I have to leave out Monday night I'm showing myself available Monday and you keep populating and this could be this could go all the way into June July whatever you have that you know you are available in between your tours or as if you're a co-driver that you're not assigned for that week put it in and then that way we can in the office we can look and readily see while well, I color coded mine in green you can color code yours in any any color you want but I'm able to quickly come in and see when someone is available ie in the green and it's that simple and I can even put in descriptions as to like say back at I'll just say back at 9 p.m. on Monday so I could even put little notes like that so that someone in the office can see oh dude he's coming back on Monday we'll be able to make this happen and then we can just call you and, and let you know that, okay, well, I have such and such available. You're av it looks like you're available for all this time here. And then as we fill you in, you shorten and lengthen or whatever you need to do. So that is pretty much the new co-driver availability calendar. It's going to be accessible to all people on Pioneer Coach. Now, if you don't have a Gmail or a Google account, I encourage you to create one because Gmail, most full-time guys and, and, and drivers and ladies lads that have been with us for a long time have a pioneercoach.com email address. Some of you don't if you're like working for other companies in your temp. I would encourage you to open up a Gmail account, it's free, and then let me know what that Gmail account is and then I can add you to the calendar. I've added you all to the calendar, but people with Gmail accounts are the only ones that can edit it. So. The ones that can't edit it, you might have to let Cameron know your availability and he'll have to manually populate it. But I'm trying to avoid that from the manual population. I'm trying to get it so that y'all can 
take a little bit of a workload off and do it yourself because you, no one knows better than you what your availabilities are and are not. So that's it. That's the new Google Calendar co-driver availability. Have a blessed weekend, have a safe trip, and safe travels. Thank you.